To upload data to Vision, you first need to create a project. This is easy and can be done from the main dashboard. Just click on the Projects tab in the left side panel and it will load the projects area. Next, you can click on the Create New Project button and it will open a new dialog box where we can start to enter the details for our project. Now, our customers generally have a client that commissions their projects. So here you can select from an existing client in the drop-down box or create a new one. Let's go ahead and create one. Next, we give our project a name and optional description. A new concept for Vision is Usernets, which are like user groups and allow you to have unlimited users. Anyone in that user group can see any project associated with it. So similar to a client, we can select an existing one or create a new one. Let's just use the existing one for now. Next, we can choose a location for our project. This can be done by clicking on the map or by typing in specific coordinates. I'm just going to use the map for this one. Finally, we can specify an EPSG code for our project, which is a coordinate system that our data has been registered to. In my case, we have data in the United Kingdom that has been registered to EPSG 27700 or OSGB 36. So I'm going to go ahead and set that. Click on Add Project and we're done. Now to upload data, I'm going to flick across to the Project Cards tab and here we can see my new project. I select the Upload Dataset button, then I can select what type of data I wish to upload. In this case, I will choose point cloud data. Next, I choose what file type it is. Mine is an E57 file. Now I have some settings to configure. My data has RGB but no intensity, so I need to choose this option. Once I am happy with the settings, I can proceed to the next step. Remember, there are quick help hovers available next to all the options to help you. Now I can specify my file or files to be uploaded and hit upload. The files are uploaded to the cloud and converted into a streamable format for high quality viewing. You should receive an email when your files are ready, but conversions shouldn't take more than a couple of hours for even large files. Once my files have converted, I need to view them. So to do this, I create a task for my project. A task is a particular phase of my project or element of work, and initially will just be an empty 3D view until we add our data into it. I click on the Add Task button and give it a name. Once I've done that, I can then click on the task in the task list and the 3D view will open. Once in the 3D view, I open the Data Management Console at the bottom of the screen and scroll to the Project Datasets tab on the left panel. This is a repository where any data uploaded to the project gets listed. I can choose the Point Cloud tab and I should see my dataset in there. I can click the Add to Project button and my data should appear in my 3D view. Great! I can now choose the Save button to save a version of my project and give it a name and description. This becomes the latest version of my task, and so the next time I open this task up, it will show me the latest version of the 3D scene. So that's enough for this how-to. You can give creating a project task and version a go yourself with our 21-day free trial, and if you need any help, don't hesitate to contact us.